Hello and welcome to day 85 of Dungeon 23. Today we're going to be putting a room right here and it's going to be a bit special in that it is going to be a merchant. Just a kind of generic merchant. We'll see further once I finish sketching out the room. Alright, sorry for that weird transition. There were some technical issues. It took way too long to draw this. But here is our room where our merchant will be. It just kind of looks like a tavern because it kind of is a tavern. It basically acts as a bar. Although the caveat is that in addition to just selling food, which is in the DMG, uh, the merchant will also sell things from the adventuring supplies list. Uh, the adventuring gear, like rope, backpacks, all that stuff at a pretty high markup. So... Who is going to be our merchant? Well, I have two special goblins for this room. The first one is just going to be a funny little kind of gag. We're going to put a... Ooh, that's way too big. We're going to put a goblin here, and he has a little saxophone. And he is just going to be... Sax. Goblin. And let's just put here, this goblin uses the bard stat block from, from the monster's manual. Actually, I think it's Volo's Guide to Monsters. Though... Nimble escape. So, mechanically, basically just the bard. The only difference being that he is a size small because he's a goblin, obviously. And he gets the goblin's nimble escape. Basically just a goblin bard. Has all the same spells, the same stats, basically everything to do with a normal... Oh, let's call him the jazz goblin. That's a bit better. There we are. And he just kind of stands here and plays jazz. He only does anything uh, if the other guy is attacked. And the other guy is going to be... I have him called Goblin Adventurer. Although he is just... He's going to be a merchant. Merchant Goblin. Use uses the bandit captain stat block from the which I know this is in the monster manual. Although he is size small and gets the goblin. Boom. Because I'm not going to make an entirely new stat block for these guys when they're just going to be the default creature, but with two extra abilities. So actually one extra ability, and also just a size change. So, what he does is, he will sell to the party venturing here and food as listed in the DMG at a 500% markup, which seems like a lot. It really isn't when you consider most adventuring gear isn't super expensive. He will also buy it if buy it for 
only 40% of their value. So he just buys it low and then sells it high. Which, I mean, you're set up in a a dungeon. No other place really sells anything. Although he's probably going to reoccur because I like reoccurring creatures in this dungeon. Because like maybe you go down like to like the next, well not the next floor, but maybe somewhere deeper in the dungeon you find the guy. And if you kill him here, if you like fight him and take his stuff, then he uh, he just doesn't appear down there. And he doesn't actually like have, well I mean like, just stealing all of his supplies is going to kind of mess with it. So we'll just say he if killed spawn from has let's see here I think 500 here we are So he has a lot of gold and a lot of gold worth of adventuring goods, but he doesn't actually like have them. And that's how I like to have most of my merchants where they have like a gold amount and whatever the party needs so they have as long as it's within reason. And if they want to steal from the guy or like kill him and loot his stuff, they could just choose what he has again within reason within that gold amount. And that's basically our merchant guy. He's will just sell stuff here and if you know he gets attacked then his buddy here will help in and you know give him buffs and then also cast like shatter on the party and maybe invisibility on him or himself to escape anything like that and it's really a secure place to rest other than that special fountain but this is like has NPCs to talk with and you could finagle them and I, I don't want to put like the actual like mechanics of like the amount of price difference between persuasion and all that stuff but because that's getting a bit too anal it's a bit too technical and you want to do like the broad strokes so we're just gonna leave it as is and this has been day 85 thanks for watching and or listening like comment subscribe all that crap and i apologize for the poor quality it's not going to improve